Hi, I'm Jadi and in this video about step up, I'm talking about underscore in Python. In step up videos, I'm trying to show you the next level programming, operating system tools and this kind of stuff in real world. We were peer reviewing a code and I suggested my friend to use underscore and saw that she've never seen that. So let's have a look and see what underscore character does in Python. It has different areas of usage. Most of them are unknown for people, as I can see. Say you have a large number, 10 million. Okay, when typing it, it's easy because you say 10,000 million. But when reading, it's very difficult to read. In Python, you can separate your digits using underscore. And for Python, that's invisible. For Python, whatever underscore you put in your numbers works, unless you put two underscores. You have to go like this. But however you want to separate your digits, you can use them. And it's the same. So for better readability, you can do this. For sure, you cannot use commas or decimal points. They have their own meanings. So if you have a large number, just use the underscore to make it more readable. This is one use. The next one is on the ideal E, underscore always means the last result. So if you want to calculate something, you can say for in this now add to the results 100 this always uh, is the last result you got whatever you do the last result you have is this one if you do any other calculation this will change or if you have the return 8 Ah, you cannot have a return 8 here. Anyway, let's create a function. You can say test return 8. Now you can say do the test. Okay. Run the test. Have this. You have the last returned result. Same with the calculations. So this is another way which you can use underscore in Python. But in the case that I was speaking about my colleague was using underscore as dummy variables. Say you want to have a loop to print hi five times. You would normally go with for i in range of five, print hi. Five highs. But now I have created one variable called for each time Python is calculating it, whatever, whatever. A more Pythonic and clear way would be for underscore for my dummy variable whatever in range of five print this this is cleaner you are not creating an unwanted variable still you have these as the last one zero one two three four five you, still you have this but everybody knows the usage of underscore i would be worse again this can happen in your functions for example you have this a uh, function we created let's have it again we have this and it this returns three values one four and eight and you only need the second value from this function you can say uh underscore result underscore equals test so it's okay now i have the result underscore is eight because it's equivalent to this one because first this went to this and this went to this updated this so i have this but again it's much cleaner instead of using x dummy temp variable in my case my colleague was using a temp var one which was super ugly okay so this was another usage a dummy variable when you don't need your results or in a for loop or in a return function or whatever but there are also other usages one is using it after your variable name for example you can have a variable var underscore 
but why? This is ugly. But in some cases, for example, list is a Python uh, keyword. If you want to have a variable list, pep8, which says how to write nice Python code, suggests you to create a list underscore. So if normally I go with list, this is a list in Python. If I go with list underscore equals 8, I created a variable named list. Pep8 says this is better than list. But in my opinion, you can just use another variable, a meaningful one, instead of list underscore. In my opinion, this is ugly, but this is what Python suggests. Be careful. You can create list 8 and break the main list. So you can say list, it is now 8. Even, for example, print is a function. You can say print equals to 6. Now you cannot print print because print is 6. You are practically saying 6-6. Six, six. You broke the print. Python and pip and pep8 suggest you to define your variable like this, although we already broke it. So this is another usage. There is one more. Two more, three more. You can use an underscore before your variable. Again, this is a normal variable name. But in many programming circles, we use this method to indicate that this variable is kind of local. We are not going to expose this anywhere. For example, if you have a file which is called APY, you define a library here, create some functions, variable values, and one of them is i equals 6. If later in my programming I do a uh, from a import everything, Everything will be imported in my program. This is not a very good way method, but anyway, this, everything will be ex imported except this variable because I have defined it as a private. Although this is very weak, you can say from a import dash underscore i and it will import this. So this is not a bulletproof. This is just kind of a convention between programmers to say that this variable is used only local, is not very important or whatever, I, you are important. Anyway, this was another usage. What else? Okay, we have two underscores and your variable. This is stronger than this. This is more a convention, only works on the import. But when you have this in a class, you are telling Python that this is kind of a private, local, whatever, and I don't want this variable to clash with uh, classes emerge from this class. If I have subclasses from this, I don't want this to be available there. So this is called variable mangling. Python interp interpreter will mangle this variable. Most of the time, if this is class A, we'll add the name A here for itself and create a unique variable so it won't be available and won't be in a conflict with your subclasses. This is another usage if you are using classes in your programming. And at the end, I think we have the underscore, underscore, variable name, underscore, underscore. There are some variables in this form. You have seen one of them, I'm kind of sure. And this has a special meanings in Python. You can create your own like this, which is not a good practice because it may conflict with the future variables. But there are some predefined ones. For example, if you are creating a class, there is a method which is called init, and it's a constructor self. And it's a constructor. So if you initiate this class, if you create an instance of this class, this will be run initially as soon as you create a new uh, instance of this class. The one you've already seen most probably is underscore underscore name. This variable always contain the environment this program is running. For example, even here I have it. It's main. That's why when you are creating a class, you, for example, again, APY, 
you define lots of functions here all of them are exposed as your library at the end you see something like this if underscore underscore name underscore underscore special variable always defined equals to underscore underscore main blah blah people write this so if you are writing another program and you just say import a okay this is imported in your program but in this case underscore underscore name underscore underscore is not main it's something like a a is there you can check what it is it's a nice practice create something and print name and import it and see what is it but so in this case this is not being run because name is not main always name is initialized by python to the environment this program is running so in this case it's not a top class and it's not main because it's just import but if someone types python3 or any other method to run this program apy now this is the top class running of this program and name is main so this is run this is how you write a class or a file uh, sorry a library or a file to be imported somewhere and also give the possibility of running it directly to see what happens if you run it directly so this is another usage we saw the underscore to separate digits underscore to return the last result on the IDLE underscore as a dummy variable which is very nice use it to show that you know your python for underscore in range of something or on return like value underscore a underscore equals this tuple and you just need the middle one underscore after a variable to use the reserved word as variables underscore before the variables as poor man's or very weak uh, suggestion that this is an private variable uh, underscore underscore variable and all of these variables can work with functions too as a indicator that if someone creates a subclass from this I don't want this to conflict with that one so Python will add something by itself to your variable you can check this with dir always and at the end underscore underscore variable name underscore underscore which we have some of the official ones name is one of them another one is underscore underscore init as a constructor in the classes so you know your underscore use it to show others that you are a professional python programmer and follow me and tell your friends because this gives me underscore